Hello and welcome to the MBS Show Review and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and we got a review for you this week. And in this week's episode review, we are going to review My Little Pony, Pony Life Season 1, Episode 24, The Debutante and Flutterdash. In The Debutante, Rarity invites her friends to celebrate her big TV debut. Oh yay, that's gonna be fun. And in Flutterdash, Fluttershy takes Rainbow Dash's place in the spectacular spectacular when Rainbow Dash gets sidelined. Oh no, what happened? So first impressions are in order and for the debutantes, um, it's pretty interesting I guess. <sighs> How do I put this? Most of the pony episodes do have this lesson or yeah, I mean it's a lesson. It's basically, there's a lesson that they want to try and tell, and uh, they're trying to express. Um, you can clearly see that in G four, and here in Pony Life, it feels like they are trying to do it, but in a very um, I won't say sarcastic. Sarcastic is not the right word. Um, cynical. That could be it, probably. So. They're, they're trying to do it in snarky, yes. They're trying to do it in a snarky way where, oh, this happens, that happens. And for um, the debutante, it was kind of interesting. Um, you can clearly see the um, setup coming from a mile away because a Rarity interview for a small bit on TV and she overact her role and so on and by me explaining this you can already tell that what's going to happen so I- i'm going to talk even more about that <clears throat> so overall uh, the debutante was not bad it-, it was really interesting and it kind of have a sweet kind of ending uh, in flutter dash this one in d- this from the description, you already can tell that, oh no, uh, something happened to Rainbow Dash, so now Fluttershy is going to take her place. Oh no, um, Fluttershy is going to mess things up. Uh, but surprisingly enough, uh, spoilers, 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 spoilers. So before I hit into review, if you, not have not watched, if you have not watched this episode yet, go do so because it's a lot of fun. Welcome back. So, let's start off the episode with the debutante. We start off the episode with, well, Rarity, or not really Rarity, but the girls having a nice time in Sugar Cube Corner, where they're um, hanging out, eating pastries. Sorry, not eating, but um, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, and Applejack are uh, at the bar top, making cupcakes and muffins and whatever it is and uh, Twilight and Fluttershy are having a nice game of checkers. Suddenly, Rarity appears out of nowhere and states that Ladies, girls, I have an announcement to make. I have prestige to a higher new level. I have entered the world of television drama. Ooh, and my debut will be this afternoon come and watch i am inviting you to come to my abode Ooh. and with that uh, the girls are kind of excited for her because wow um rarity that's awesome and yeah i can't wait to uh check it out so the girls head over to rarity's place and uh hang out and I don't really mention the show. Okay, um, kind of a breakdown. Um, Rarity also explains that she went for a interview or a was audition. Yes, she went for an audition to play a part in one of the um soap operas that is running in Equestria. Uh, what was the soap opera called? Something something Apple. Uh, let's see if I can find it here, and if this is important. 
yes. Uh, drama series Hoof Session. Yes. <laughs> Something to do with some kind of apple farming thing. I'm guessing Granny Smith watched this a lot. <clears throat> but anywho, uh, she meant, Rarity mentions that she went to the interview, uh, an audition, she got the role, and the casting director said, uh, leave some, uh, leave some free time, uh, <laughs> leave, sp- leave space open for your schedule, and well, she got the part. And now she's acting in the drama. So that's cool. That's really cool. So, <clears throat> Rarity um, went home and get her place ready, and the girls join in too. So once at home, um, they all sit down and they all kind of watch the show, excited for um, Rarity's part, anticipating for her part too. And as time goes by, as the moment gets closer, uh, Rarity mentions that, okay, my part's coming, my part's coming. And when they show the scene, uh, they show the part where a pony opens the door um, and it shows the main character of the series and the character says, uh, I won't be selling the apple farm and that's it. And with that, the series end and they didn't really show any of Rarity's part and that devastated Rarity because oh no my debut is a flop oh I'm gonna cry I'm gonna cry and yeah um, the girls just like oh wow that's just devastating like wow what what a jerk move to do and I'm gonna pause here so that's um the the setup is kind of interesting. Uh, we we get to see the girls hanging out and then Rarity popping in, stating her intentions or whatever it is. I mean, just saying to the group that yo, I got a um audition and I got the role. They love me and whatnot. And then uh, when the big moment comes, it's like they didn't even use any of her scenes. It was a total waste of time, and. Personally, for me, uh, when I see that, one of two things happen. Uh, the One is the director couldn't stand Rarity and just say that, okay, uh, let, she can do whatever she wants. Um, in post, we'll just cut her out. Or two... Uh, she did a really good job that the main crew or cast just couldn't stand her and just told the director that we don't want her involved. Like, she's overshadowing us. And she's just a bit role. Or C, Rarity just babbles too much. And those, oh boy, um, those, those kind of things are fascinating um, you, you want to get a role and whatnot you, you want to just kind of be there get money and stuff but it, it's one of those things that is hard to explain now it's kind of how would I put this in, in all honesty when, when you do a job especially in acting uh, and especially if you're from the ground up um, you're just going to Lay low, do what you're told, and just do your best. And once you progress, then you can um, show them what you got. And you know, honestly, um, a good example of this is uh, Thor Ragnarok, where most of the cast and crew were just told that wing, wing your lines, like wing it, um, do whatever feels right, and they kind of improv. Which is which made the show really interesting and funny because um, those characters or the actors play their characters for a while now that they kind of get their um, characters' emotion, feeling, 
um, whatever it is. I mean, they 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 know how their character would feel. Oh man, I'm diverting a lot, or I'm segueing. Okay, <clears throat> getting back on track. Pinkie Pie um, went to Rarity, knocking her door, knocking on her door, and asking to talk with her. Rarity says, "No, I don't want to be bothered because I am very depressed and I don't want to talk to anyone." And Pinkie Pie jumps in. Uh, yeah, Pinkie Pie jumps in and acts as the pony on the TV, and with that. Um, all the girls do so, playing the part, and Rarity uh, no, uh, notices this and tries to, well, act her role and whatnot. And with that, uh, she did a very, very nice performance. And yeah, uh, all of her friends applaud at her performance, and in all honesty, the show really messed up on that one. But at the same time too, maybe it's not what they want and stuff, but hey, um, Rarity stirred up and she felt appreciated by her friends. And yeah, um, with that, that's, that episode ends. <clears throat> so let's move on to the next one, Flutter Dash. Flutter Dash is very fun. So we start start off the episode with the girls arriving at some kind of sports camp. Uh, Rainbow Dash is excited because she can't wait to participate in all of them. Uh, there's a list of A sports to Z sports. I got no idea what they are, but according to the script there is. So anyway, Apple Sorry, uh, Rainbow Dash is just excited, saying that I can't wait to participate in all of them. I don't think I have even time to sleep while I'm looking at the schedule here. So, uh, as per usual, you see uh, the girls head to their cabin, where there is a um, what six uh, no three bunk beds. So there's six places to sleep. While I have to wonder where Spike is gonna sleep because Spike is here, by the way. <clears throat> but anywho, uh, the girls get ready or just settle down for a bit resting while Rarity has her own shindig going on. So Rainbow Dash looks at the list, uh, what to do, what to do first and so on. And then uh, suddenly, Rainbow Dash bumps into a light and kind of falls from the sky. I think something like that. Yeah, uh, she 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 wasn't paying attention to where she was flying and bumped onto the bunk bed, uh, flew into the light and fell down. That's terrible. Then well, once uh, the lights back on, uh, they notice that oh no, um, Rarity, sorry, uh, Rainbow Dash kind of have a sprained front hoof and sprained wing, and it looks rather painful. And it looks like that's putting her out of commission. But Rainbow Dash being the stubborn one says, No, no, uh, I can I can power through this. Uh, this. This doesn't hurt at all. Ouch. Um, I, I can go through this. Ouch. So they go to the opening ceremony and just, yeah, watch. Watch, watch the um, ceremony. And this is the shocking part for me because we are introduced to Block Biceps who is talking properly and is being the master of ceremony. What? <laughs> it's it's really cool to see Bok, but wow, I'm just hmm. I have no comment, but yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool. So he's introducing the whole game and whatnot, and yay! Tells everyone to have a great time and so on. Uh, we join back with the main six. Um, Rainbow Dash clearly not in a state of play and she the, the girls tells her to um, you probably should sit this one out and probably uh, come back again next year like you're not in you're you're in no condition to participate uh, rainbow dash says now nah, i can do it i can do it yeah just need a bit of rest 
and she walks away limping. Oh no. So uh, they head back to the cabin and Fluttershy wraps. Uh, sorry, Fluttershy tends to Rainbow Dash's wound and the girls say, oh wow, um, sorry about that Rainbow Dash. Probably next year, but Rainbow Dash says, no, no, no. I have to participate. Just just think about what they would say because I am the most sportiest pony in Equestria and I have to be in this one. If not, what would they say about me? Oh no. And I'm going to pause here. <clears throat> so, um, the setup is pretty kind of cool. Um, We go to some random event in Equestria where the girls... Or, well, at least Rainbow Dash wants to participate in every sport. Where have I remember? Where have I heard that one before? And um, because of her carelessness, she got hurt in the moment and is not able to join. And in all honesty, I can understand, wh- I can understand how she feels. Being the uh, most athletic pony in Equestria, not being able to join an athletic event feels bad and uh, I, I can't blame her I can't blame her but at the same time too if she's injured like people would have to understand right but there's this ego part where oh uh, Fertusha, sorry, Dream Bordash can't join haha <laughs> I am better this year so I uh, I, I don't have to compete with Rainbow Dash because I, if she does compete I know I will lose or um they would say, oh, Rainbow Dash is participating because she's scared of me. And so, I mean, <sighs> stupid ego stuff. <clears throat> but anywho, the setup's kind of cool. Now let's continue on because what Rainbow Dash proposed here is, is a pretty bit... Mm, okay, uh, Rainbow Dash says, you know what? I need a sub. I need a substitution. I need someone to take my place. Uh, who would be best for that situation there? And the camera pans to Twilight, Pinkie Pie, Apple Dash. No, Apple. <laughs> no, that's a ship pick. Um, uh, Applejack. And then the uh, focus on Fluttershy. And everybody nods their head that, yeah, this is going to work. And Fluttershy is like, oh, no. Um, Rainbow Dash picks up a bottle, a potion, and gives... Um, Fluttershy a drink and said potion is kind of a polymorph uh, for you guys who got no idea what a polymorph is it's basically a transformation potion that makes you look however you want in this instance uh, the potion is set to look like Rainbow Dash not fully but similar so after Fluttershy drinks the potion she transformed into Rainbow Dash, but not fully. Um, basically, what just happened is that she has Rainbow Dash's coat, mane, and that's about it. Her cutie mark is still her own. Her hairstyle is still her own. So, yeah, that's about it, which is pretty cool. Um, Rarity and Spike comes in. And they are shocked to see, oh no, there's two rainbow dashes. Oh no, not this dream again. And they faint. <laughs> Which is kind of cute. I mean, um, y- you have to kind of imagine what kind of dream that Spike and Rarity have that involves two rainbow dashes. Whew. I ain't gonna delve in deep into that one. So, <clears throat> we... Um, go into the first sport, which is a, I won't say marathon, but kind of a running thing. And we see participating ponies, they're stretching on the field, kind of hyping themselves up. And we see uh, Flutter Dash kind of getting into the zone and whatnot. And in the stands, we see Flutter Shy, sorry, Rainbow Dash, wearing a hat and sunglasses, looking on the field. And... Uh, her whispering to Spike that, okay, uh, I, w- I want you to tell R- R- Flutter Shy, um, do giving her some advice, giving her some advice. And 
the advice that she gives is not the greatest. Not the greatest at all. So let me see if I can find what she said. Um, back one, yeah, no, mm, okay, okay, here we go, here we go. <clears throat> so, Spike relays the message and says, Rainbow Dash says, don't be nervous, just run like me, Dash. And Fluttershy is like, wait, what? <laughs> what does, what does that even supposed to be mean? Like, run like Apple Dash? Sorry, run like Applejack? Sorry, no, run like Rainbow Dash? What? I, I am confused. And with that, she gets nervous and doesn't move at all. Because, what does that even mean? I got no idea. And she just stalls. And R Rainbow Dash sees this and she just gets angry. Like, oh no, wh wh what's going on? And we move to the next event. And same thing happens. Um, Spike goes down to give uh, Fluttershy some advice. And the advice is... Uh, okay. Um, Rainbow Dash told me to tell you, just do what I do. And... Yeah, okay, just do what, what... What What? does that even mean? And Fluttershy is just confused and can't process what's going on. And... Fluttershy just says, um, what does it even mean? And... Spike just says, maybe it'll be we'll running? I don't know. So, the event is, um, tug of war. So, the pony fighting against Fluttershy, or, yeah, Fluttershy, uh, takes on the rope, and pulls it and kind of falls on her butt because there's she's pulling on nothing because Fluttershy does didn't even um, grab the other end of the rope. So basically, yeah, she fell and I guess she won, lost. I don't know. Um, Fluttershy seeing this, oh, um, I think I'll do what Dash would do: run in circles or run, run, <laughs> run around my opponents in circles, and. That was just embarrassing moment. So the third game is going to be Buck Ball. A, uh, let me see, I, I think a two-man Buck Ball because I don't see the third uh, player. It's just basically a, um, yeah, I don't see a defender. It's just basically a striker and a goalie. And <clears throat> uh, Fluttershy is um, how do I put this? Yeah, it's just it's just a downgraded version of Buck Ball, and you know what? I have to say that I don't agree with this. This this is just crap, because Fluttershy is the best Buck Ball player in Equestria. She's up there, like she she when when the sport started, she was there and she was the MVP. Along with Pinkie Pie, surprisingly not participating because I would have thought that that would be cool. But hey, who am I to say? So, um, yes, we see that uh, Fluttershy is nervous. And you know what? I, I'm going to justify the writer's reason for this one. I'm going to be, I'm going to play devil's advocate on this one. The reason why Fluttershy is nervous is that she's still playing or she's still trying to imitate what Fluttershy would, sorry, uh, Rainbow Dash would do since she's kind of in Rainbow Dash's skin and whatnot. And Rainbow Dash is not a real good buckball player. <clears throat> so um, Rainbow Dash just gives up, like, I don't care anymore. And Spike just yells at Fluttershy, telling her that, uh, you know what, I'm going to open the transcript and see what it says. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, this is all wrong. Call it off. Just tell her to do what she wants. And Spike says, "Play how you want." Dash. <laughs> and Spike just says, "Ah, you know, I'm too lazy to go down the field. It's 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 tedious." So with that message being brought through, 
Fluttershy starts playing like how Fluttershy plays. And she is dominating. I don't know how this is legal, but she up her size to a giant. Like, she double her triple ten, quad, uh, times ten her size. And she is dominating the pool. Um, the... She, she, I, I got no idea how to explain this. Um, she is just dominating with her size. And she's having a good time. Um, and she's scoring points. She's breaking the scoreboard and also terrorizing the other players. Oh, yay? And with that, um, episode ends. Yay! <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, let's go to final thoughts. So for, um, Rarity's debutante, Ah, uh, yes, the debutante. So, uh, the debutante was really interesting because of... Uh, uh, how do I put this? For me, it's interesting at least, but the, the idea of Rarity trying to... Uh, what you call this? Uh, pro- <laughs> Sorry, uh, I'm just trying to find the right words for this one. But no, um, one of the few things that I find interesting is that they have television and they have soap operas and so on, which is kind of a big change from uh, G4 proper. Uh, Pony Life, I'm going to call it 4.5. So, that huge leap in technology is kind of interesting, but it kind of makes sense when we see where G5 is at now. Uh, over there, we see they have television, um, you, uh, what do you call this, um, mobile phones or cells. So we see the progression of technology there. So you, I guess they, you have to start somewhere, right? And 4.5 introducing all those kind of things is pretty interesting, I guess. But um, getting back on track, yes, rarity auditioning and getting the part but not but the show doesn't use her part is kind of a lesson of <sighs> I don't know man like that part there is not the lesson that we should learn Um, the lesson for this one is no matter how bad you feel no matter how low you are always remember that you have awesome friends that are there for you and with Rarity here, she has five awesome friends. I didn't see Spike. If Spike was there, she would have six. But still, uh, she has awesome friends to support her through her endeavors. And yeah, um, be there for her. For Flutterdash. Flutterdash is a very interesting one because we... I'm guessing you can see the outcome from a mile away, but the lesson here is that... Um, you really shouldn't do how you sorry um you really shouldn't try and imitate others do your own thing do how you do things but at the same time too when you're trying to imitate rainbow dash i'm guessing you should at least try to do what rainbow dash do and in all honesty um from what i can tell um Fluttershy was already in the zone. Like, she was trying to do her own thing, trying to, you know, uh, get into the Rainbow Dash mindset while being herself and whatnot. Like, uh, this is just a run. So, uh, I can run like Rainbow Dash. And suddenly when the advice came in, she's self-conscious. Like, oh no, um, am I going to do this right? Am I going to do this correctly? Uh, 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 oh no. Um, uh, I'm not sure. sure. Um, oh boy. Um, I'm going to get. I'm, I'm very nervous. Oh, and she panics. In all honesty, if she just did her own thing, she would have at least give Fluttershy a good image. But it will be a very different image from what the general public would have saw. But still, um, the lesson is: be yourself and do your do your best. So, anywho, I think that's the 
end of the episode uh, that's the end of the review so let's wrap things up if you guys have any questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact us at themissionjimmy.com you can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe to and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and stay to radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreoncom show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Master of Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode on the show. See ya.